Monday. Story time. I forgot my sunglasses in the house. Um, and I'm going to do this in the car today simply because um, hubby has um, a new router and he's working on getting that all set up. Sorry. <laughs> He, he actually did allow me some time to do it before he took down the Wi-Fi. Um, but I needed to shower and get things um, prepared for his routing with the cable and everything. So, anyhow, it was one of those days where things just don't seem to come together for you as well as you would like them to. And... Golly, does this air conditioning feel good? Our humidity is so high today, so that even, and it's 86 degrees, and that's in the shade. So it's feeling more like in the 90s for sure, and probably close to 100, which is miserable. Um, I was really wanting to cook spaghetti, but I needed some things from the grocery store, and like other stuff today that was getting postponed so anyhow I'm one of those that just rolls with the punches I don't get all bent out of shape when things don't go exactly how I had planned um, so Monday it is story time I used to be so addicted to chocolate I was your quintessential chocoholic and um, I was, <laughs> it was as if I was really hooked on some sort of hard drug. Um, you know, I'm a very mellow, happy person all the time. But if I didn't get my fix of chocolate every few hours, I would just about tear your head off. I would turn into a mean old bear and I was grouchy and I just could not seem to get a grip over it um, and you know what I enjoyed my um, my uh, addiction and could care less to lose it um, one day this was when let's see 97 or so I guess um, we drove up to North Shore. My friends owned a place called Jungle Gems, and um, they had all kinds of rocks and crystals. They had raw ones. They had um, polished ones and faceted cut ones, and um, their store was beautiful, and it was huge, and it was a big, uh, a big place. I mean, it was famous. So, anyhow, I had gone up to say hi to my friends, and when I was there, I saw this bullet. It was a quartz crystal. It was about this long, and it was more or less the shape of a bullet. And it was clear, except for the fact, come on out, uh, that it had gold rutilation. Rutilated, it was rutilated with gold. Uh, shards and it was beautiful so I got that and at this time my husband still was um, driving he, his uh, neuropathy in his feet had not progressed to the point where he didn't have any feeling and um, so he was driving home and I was just looking at it and I just staring at it and wondering why on earth is it that I was so crazy about this rock that I felt like I just had to have it. So we get home from the North Shore and the next day I take um, Rachel and a couple of her friends out for Christmas shopping. So anyhow as we were going off to go Christmas shopping I said to Rachel I said oh you have got to taste this 
chocolate milkshake that they make at this Jack in the Box down here on Ward Avenue. And I said, it's they seem to put extra chocolate or something, and it's so delicious. So I got it, and when I tasted it, I said, oh my God, this tastes really nasty. Ugh, I can't stand this. So I gave it to her and she tasted, she goes, mom, can I have it? Because it's really good. It's not, it's not icky at all. And I said, sure you can have it. Well, I tried to eat chocolate later that day and couldn't stand the flavor. No, nothing that I ate chocolate tasted good to me. Well, I thought, well, maybe I've got like a little sinus condition or something and maybe this is just bothering my taste buds or what's going on and um, so um, I kept trying to eat chocolate for a couple days and it was just terrible I could not stand it would make me even nauseated um, and I started noticing little things like the smell of spaghetti of um, chocolate would make me feel sick to my stomach and um, so all of a sudden, I just could care less, didn't want chocolate, wouldn't eat chocolate, and I ended up not having chocolate for, at all, after that, for about five or six years. I couldn't, even the thought of chocolate would make me just, ugh. And the, the, the smell and the taste, well, I didn't try to taste it, but just the smell of it would make me feel nauseated. And, um, what I can best figure out is, now, I don't know if it was a psychological thing that really I wanted to, in the back of my mind, I wanted to give up chocolate, and I just didn't know that I wanted to give up chocolate, or whatever, but it did seem strange that this correlated with the time that I had bought this crystal, because um, crystals, uh, now some people believe this, some people don't. Um, I'm kind of a little half-half. My husband, uh, surprisingly enough, he kind of sort of puts some um, merit to the fact that crystals can affect people. Um, because when he was in telecommunications tech school in the Air Force, he was learning about how natural crystals all have certain wavelengths to them and how each wavelength um, creates a different kind of um, reaction to other wavelengths. So, um, wow, the shadows are really, let me take this off of here. Ah, there, is that better? Okay, so, um, yeah, so it could possibly be that that crystal um, changed the chemistry in my body that craved the chocolate. I don't know. Uh, it could be my subconscious mind. I don't know. My question for you is, have you ever noticed that any kind of positive changes happened to you after you had bought some sort of crystal or rock or anything like that? Um, comment below and tell me about it and let me hear your story. I'm so inter interested to know. And um, yeah, it'll be fun to figure this out. Um, that is something that, um, you know, to this day, that was many, many long years ago. And to this day, I really prefer all other kind of flavors of desserts. Um, fruit flavors, almond flavor, butterscotch flavor caramel. Uh, I will on occasion eat chocolate and it doesn't affect me as severely as it did back then. But to this day, I still could care less really. So anyhow, let me know if you've ever had any kind of strange a uh, new agey kind of thing happen with your crystals or your rocks and what your hypothesis is on that. 
So, anyhow, I hope you had a great Monday. And um, also, I wanted to tell Jamie that um, I didn't neglect you. I went and I checked the post office just now, actually. And um, the letter had not arrived yet. So, I'll let you know as soon as I get it. And I'm sorry if this is kind of shaky, but um, I did want to take you out of the sunny and get and get a better shot of my face smiling at all you that I love you guys out there so you have a good Monday night you're probably already asleep by now because it's dinner time here and uh, if you're new welcome to the channel subscribe and hit the bell and uh, if you have um, fun things to tell about uh, rocks or crystals and your experiences with that leave the um, message below and I'm going to look forward to hearing your stories okay alrighty love you and I will see you tomorrow bye